New year, new loot. I hope you all had a very safe and satisfying holiday season. And now that the hangover has worn off for most of us, let's get to the big stories. Imagine this. Twins born in two different years after arriving 15 minutes apart? What a way to kick off the new year. Will they be in different grades? Which twin will be affected most by this weird time anomaly? Does ESP work across different years? And will one stay in the real world and one in the metaverse? But what we're all wondering, will this become a new stupid TikTok challenge? Gordon Ramsay trolled online for asking, what the f is Twitch? For a guy who's huge on Twitch thanks to streamers live reacting to his content, you'd think Gordon would be a little more informed by now. Exposed on an episode of Next Level Chef when Trisha Wang impressed Gordon with her skills and told him that she makes a living live streaming cooking videos. Gordon revealed his ignorance and, as you can imagine, was quickly roasted online. But he also got a lot of offers from streamers who wanted to show him how Twitch works. Come on now, Ramsey. Get in the game, let's get on Twitch. TikTok to open virtual restaurants for viral food recipes. Partnering with Grubhub and Virtual Dining Concepts, TikTok announced plans to prepare and deliver the trendiest recipes on the platform right to people's homes. Gigi Hadid told you about a tasty vodka pasta? Order it up. And that nature cereal Lizzo is hyped up? Just a few clicks away. This feels like a close relative of Mr. Beast Burger, an internet-driven chain that uses ghost kitchens and innovative branding methods for the restaurant industry. Not that TikTok is branching into food service in a serious way, this is really just a strategy to promote the platform. With one-seventh of the world's population now using TikTok, I'd say they know what they're doing when it comes to expansion. I just wonder if we'll be able to order some of the weirder TikTok recipes like spaghetti o pie and cotton candy pickles. Ghislaine Maxwell has been found guilty of sex trafficking. Epstein, prison, some incredibly powerful people that could be associated. So just look it up if you haven't already. Elizabeth Holmes found guilty of criminal fraud. So Liz managed to get over $900 million in investments for what she claimed was a home blood testing kit that could diagnose diseases with just a finger prick. Plenty of savvy investors fell for it, including Rupert Murdoch and Larry Ellison. So how did this fake medical tech breakthrough fool so many people? Silicon Valley may have been charmed by the Theranos myth, but there were members of the medical community expressing doubts along the way which makes it even more shocking that Elizabeth advanced the con as far as she did. The answer? Venture capital. A magical world where perception can sometimes trump reality. This has been a hot story for true crimers, but not the gory kind, the white collar kind. The kind who probably play squash in prison. Speaking of fraud, Logan Paul's Pokemon set could be fake. AFK safety tip, if you need to flex on Twitter, maybe just ensure you buy from a trustworthy source and not from an unknown eBay account. Ottawa reaches $40 billion deal with First Nations over child welfare. Finally, some good news for Indigenous communities and hopefully just the beginning of this kind of financial compensation for colonial damage all over the world. But. Before we get too excited, it's important to note that this is an agreement in principle at the moment, meaning it's non-binding for now. With some cautious optimism though, we can acknowledge this important first step in addressing the horrific experience of the residential school system and the reformation of how First Nations communities are treated in policy going forward. This is the culmination of decades of hard work and advocacy and a legal battle that's lasted 14 years. Let's make sure the government is kept accountable by actually following through here. Sony confirms new details about next VR headset, PSVR 2. Straight from CES, we don't really know too much yet, but it is official. And that in itself is enough for us to start the queue outside of GameStop and uh, just bring some snacks while we weigh it. A hockey fan spotted a cancerous mole at a game recently and delivered a note that saved his life. I am absolutely in love with this very wholesome story. A 22 year old volunteer nurse sitting front row at a Vancouver Canucks game noticed the growth on the neck of an equipment manager. Her name is Nadia and she's 100% my new hero because not only did she recognize the mole, but she had the courage to write a note on her phone and hold it up to the glass. Brian, the equipment manager, 
Thought it was weird, but eventually figured he should investigate. And sure enough, Nadia's hunch was bang on. Nadia received a $10,000 contribution to her medical school tuition from both teams involved, so everyone here wins. China state media mocks Huawei crackdown. As tensions rise between China and the West, we now have a uh, this. Special Agent James Pond, some serious time lapses, and good old propaganda. China state media has released their own version of Threat Level Midnight, but this time it's serious. We can't say anymore, you just need to check it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching the very first episode of the second season of The Loot. I will see you guys next week here every Thursday. I'm Rhea with AFK. Bye.